You know when um, you found out you was going to Dagenham, what was your first thought? What did you actually think you was going to experience? I know you knew that basically you was going to live on an estate. Well, what did you think actually was going to happen? How did you think you was going to survive for the week? <laughs> you know, I really had no idea. Because when, when you're told you're going to do something, your mm. mind thinks about what's it going to be like. I hoped it wasn't going to be a tower block. And it was a tower block. <laughs> Um, I imagined it, it would be um, kind of tough not having food and mm. sort of luxuries and stuff like that. And I did miss not having sort of snacks of food and things like that. But I, you know, I really was kind of very, very unaware of, of the things that, that then suddenly did come across. Mm. They were totally different things than the things you imagined. I didn't think I would find it so demoralising. You know, I thought, right, I've, I've got it in my mind, I'm going to have this time, I'm going to go running every day, I'm going to sort of, you know, do exercises, I'm going to have projects every day. Mm. And what amazed me was just how lethargic being in the tower block made you feel. Mm -hmm. Because it was the something just about the place that gets you down. And Kath, who I was living with, would sometimes not get out of her pyjamas and would just sort of lie in front of the TV in the afternoon. And, you know, first day I was, come on, Kathy, you're going to come jogging with me. And mm. actually by day two or three I was thinking, oh, blimey. And she really brought you down to that. It does. And it, so that's, I didn't expect that to happen. Mm. That it, it sort of just makes you feel really down and grubby and that, that surprised me. And now that you've actually come back to your comfort zone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you really think, like, would you go back to see how things are going and things. Have you been back? Yeah, I went, I went back and it was really nice. To, I mean, what, the, another level here, it's awful mm. in terms of the conditions and would I want to go and live there? Absolutely not. But I met some really nice people. Mm. So it's really fun to go back and meet Candy and, and some of the others. I've enjoyed yeah. doing that. Candy and I spoke on the phone on Saturday and I think, you know, I'm going to carry on doing that and I will go back. But mm. what's interesting is that, I'm trying to think, uh, Mark, um, Sloan, another Mark, uh, they've all left. Okay. So they've escaped from the tower block. So actually, there's mm -hmm. less and less people who I know because they're all they're all mm -hmm. moving out, which is great for them. Um, but it's people which will draw you back, I think, just to see how their lives are going. Um, mm -hmm. But it would be lovely to go back one day and find they're not there anymore. <laughs> that would be really good. They've just literally knocked the tower blocks down. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it from me. Cool. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Not at all. Thank you. <laughs>